Hello and welcome to your Daily Energy Report. I'm Ben Lack. General Electric's fleet of 40 heavy-duty gas turbines operating on BTU fuels has accumulated more than 2 million fired hours. Low BTUs have significantly less heating values than natural gas. Examples include syngas, steel mill gases, and dilute natural gas, which are lighter than natural gas and have less energy per unit volume. Some of the turbines have been running on syngas or other fuels for more than a decade, including a large coal-based IGCC facility in Florida and an Italian refinery. Others are newer installations operating at locations in the United States, Germany, Italy, Canada, the Netherlands, the Czech Republic, China, the Middle East, and Singapore. There is no doubt about the benefits and importance of clean diesel technology in reducing black carbon emissions in the U.S. The switch to ultra-low sulfur diesel fuel coupled with advances in diesel engine design and emissions control technology led to fine particulate emissions elimination from new diesel vehicles and equipment in the U.S. according to the latest EPA report. Today, diesel engines are responsible for less than 6% of all particulate emissions in the U.S and clean diesel technology with near zero emissions is standard equipment in nearly all off-road diesel vehicles and equipment. Not only are clean diesel engines near zero emissions, but they are also achieving important gains in fuel efficiency, which leads to valuable savings to owners and operators of these new clean diesel engines. NL Green Power will be operating three more geothermal exploration concessions in Chile. Two of the concessions are in areas within 70 kilometers of Santiago, while the third is 1,000 kilometers north of the nation's capital. NL Green Power now holds eight geothermal exploration concessions in the country. Geothermica del Norte, a subsidiary of the company, is close to entering the construction phase on a 40 megawatt facility in the region of Antofagasta in the northern part of Chile. Once completed, it will be the first geothermal facility in all of South America. And finally, according to a new research program at Lincoln University, batteries of biological waste products from pulp mills could provide the solution for inexpensive electricity. Brown liquor is a byproduct from the manufacturing of paper pulp and is largely composed of lignin, a biological polymer, in plant cell walls. Researchers have devised a thin film from a mixture of pyrrole and lignin derivatives from the brown liquor. The film, which is half a micron in thickness, is used as a cathode in the organic solar cells battery. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com. And also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.